Hey everybody, it's Nathaniel Dons from tutvid.com. Welcome right into this second ever Adobe XD tutorial. Well, second ever XD tutorial on this channel, but you know what I'm saying. Today we're going to talk about how to make a scrolling window in Adobe XD. And one little thing about the scrolling window at this point in time that is incredibly frustrating. I'm going to cover it all with you right here and right now. If you enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video tutorial in the future. Let's jump into XD and check this thing out. Alrighty, here we are in Adobe XD, and you may be seeing the familiar welcome screen here. Now, I already have a file open, but you can open and start a file, whatever you want to do. Uh, what I actually have back here is just a little iPhone 10 feed that I've created, and this feed is actually using UI elements from this Wireframes UI kit. It's pretty awesome. You can check it out. There's a link for it right here in the welcome screen. I uh, highly recommend it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and we can take a look at what we've got going on here. So basically, this would be a news feed, as you can see, and we're covering some of these countries. Um, now, I have a repeating grid. So this is, you know, I've got all this stuff here that's created and then I would go repeat grid and then I can just drag this out and we've got Slovakia and we have, well, just a repeat of Slovakia and Slovakia again. But let's say we have like four modules of information here. So something like that. I'll zoom out and just make sure we're... We're getting ourselves clear, just like that. So we've got four different modules, and we want the client to be able to preview this, right? So obviously, we just scroll it like that, and we can go ahead and hit play, and this will be what the client sees, and we move up or down with our mouse wheel, but we see nothing because there's no scrolling. Well, how do we do this? A couple things. First and foremost, you're going to want to click up here and select the artboard name. And over here, look at this. We have a scrolling option. So we can select that and just choose, well, of course, vertical scrolling. And then we need to choose a viewport height. So this is kind of like how much of this should be uh, viewable as somebody is scrolling. In this case, I'm saying 812 pixels high. And why am I saying 812? Well, it's because if we go back to file new and from this, I choose the iPhone X, you can see here. Oh, I didn't mean to actually open one there. Let me close that. Let's try that again. If I go file new iPhone X, we can see here that the height is 812 pixels. So that's the thinking behind going with an 812 uh, viewport height. Now, of course, we go ahead and play, but look at this. It's still, why is it not working? Well, the reason is because not only do you need to activate scrolling, but you want to select your artboard. So select the artboard. We're not selecting the artwork in the artboard. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. We actually need to expand the artboard. So you can see uh, XD kind of gives us that, that dashed line. That's where the viewport ends. So that's sort of the phone screen above that. And then below it is everything that's contained in the scrollable area. So I'm going to just scroll or drag it down so we can see all of that. I can zoom back in. And now at this point, of course, if we go ahead and hit play to preview, well, now, now we can go ahead and scroll and it works beautifully. So that's the essence of how it works. Now, let me just introduce you to one other little thing here. I have gone ahead under File, Get UI Kits. I've downloaded the iOS uh, Apple Kit because this is the iPhone 10, and I want to put a, a little bar at the bottom of my screen here. So if I select my artboard, I, basically it would go here just above the dashed line because you might have some options to go to another area of this app. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that UI Kit here in XD. All right, right out here I've got iOS 11, and then I've got UI Elements, and then here we go, iPhone X is the one I'm most interested in because that's what I'm working with. So I'll double tap that XD file. These are all totally free. You can grab them here. Just use those links through XD. And then I'll zoom in over here. I'll just grab any one of these. Let's say the, the four label toolbar. So I'll select that. Just uh, go edit, copy, and um, then I'll jump back over to my other window. And here I'll just go edit, paste to just drop this guy into my document. Here he is right here. Now, of course, we want to make sure this is aligned and snapped into place. I'm going to grab my um, magnifying glass tool, and I'm going to zoom in, and you can see we're just slightly off. So I'm just going to drag it up, and it'll snap right to it. And then I can zoom out a little bit. And maybe what we'll do is, let's just once more, let's close up our the actual size, the height of our uh, artboard here. So I can just come up here and change the height back to, remember it was 812. Just seal it up real quick, just so we can get an idea of what this looks like for a quick second. I'm gonna select this little bottom bar, the tool, the tab bar, if you will. I'll open up this, oops, I'll open up the folder by double tapping the folder. I'm gonna select background here, and I'll just reduce the opacity of that background to like 95%, just so you can slightly see through it and slightly see what's coming as you're scrolling up or down the feed. I think it's a nice little touch. Of course, we could change the labels and add little icons and stuff. That's not part of this tutorial, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. What I do need to do is zoom back out, select my artboard, and make sure I open up that scrollable area again. So let's just drag this guy back down, something like that, because, of course, we'll need to make up the space for our little bottom bar so it can still fit there at the bottom for the preview. But check this out. We're going to go ahead now and choose to preview this. This is where the scrolling feature is not just a little frustrating, but very frustrating. When you scroll, you can see that your bar does not remain fixed, 
isn't pinned, and at this point in time of the recording, as far as I know, there's no way to lock in features like the header, which would be locked in, right? That wouldn't scroll away when you're using the phone. And the same thing with this bottom bar. There's no way to do that in XD. And the problem with that is, of course, that if you're sending this to a client to be proofed, and this is a client that's paying you thousands or tens of thousands of dollars, ooh, you really don't want that bottom tabbed navigation to just take off and slide up the screen because they're going to look at it like, I'm paying some jabroni, $1,000, $10,000, $15,000 to design my app, and this is the draft they send me? Are you kidding? Uh, so it's not a very good look. And for that reason, if you have... If you're building something where you have bars that need to be pinned to the top and bottom, this is just, it's not the way that I would go about sending it to my clients. I'll put it to you that way. I guess the choice is up to you. But it's a feature that hopefully Adobe will introduce to XD very soon. To me, it seems like a very no-brainer, no-nonsense, very essential um, element or function that the app should have. But that's really beyond the scope of this tutorial. Enough ranting and complaining now. That is the epitome of a first world problem after all, isn't it? Um, so for creating a scrolling area in uh, in Adobe XD, that's really how it's done. It's just a matter of selecting selecting your artboard, making sure you have your scrolling turned on, set the viewport height, and then go ahead and make sure you expand your artboard to encapsulate all of the content you want to be seen. And uh, you're probably not going to be able to work with pinned elements, at least not at the time of recording this video. Yeah, so that is pretty much it, guys. That is the scrolling feature in Adobe XD. It's pretty cool, but yet, obviously, kind of frustrating because you can't fix or pin an element like that, and it just makes it unusable in terms of sharing that with a client, um, unless you have something where you don't have to have something locked at the top or bottom of the screen. Um, in those cases, mm, Adobe, please, please make this work for us. Uh, now, if you did enjoy this tutorial, guys, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, we've got a little Discord server action going on where you can connect with like-minded folks when it comes to web design, UX, UI, and also all kinds of other things that have to do with the TutVid community. Uh, use that Discord link that is appearing on the screen now. There's also a link down in the bio. Check it out. Why don't you come over and join us and hang out for a little bit. So guys, if we're taking a look at the scrolling feature or kind of the pros and cons, maybe I should say, of the scrolling feature here in Adobe XD. For this one, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds and TutVid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.